Wednesday the 31st, day 37 of our Lenten journey. We are winding our way ever so slowly towards Jerusalem and to that infamous meeting there on the cross. Let's begin by lighting our Christ candles, just to remind us that we do not walk alone. Christ is with us. Today's reading is written there by Devitt Montelagru. He titles it Transforming Love. And the scripture reading he chooses for this one is Ephesians, Ephesians 2, 19. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God. As he reflects on this particular reading, in 2011, I had one of the most defining experiences of my life thus far. I was invited by the World Council of Churches to be part of the ecumenical accompaniment program in Palestine and Israel. Over a four month period, I lived in Bethlehem and served as an ecumenical accompanier providing accountability, advocacy, presence, and protection for local organizations and communities in the area. I woke at 4 a.m. each day to monitor Palestinian access to Jerusalem through Checkpoint 300, one of the artificial borders that divide Israel and Palestine. During the afternoon, I was sent to different villages to support farmers, workers, school children, and worshipers. Even Sunday, my team and I supported local churches by attending services and events, as well as engaging with local theologians. For those four months, I had a new family. I shared my life with five people who were initially strangers, each of a different nationality. Together we ate, worked, prayed, and shared our joys and sorrows every day. Together we discovered that we are all citizens of God and members of God's household. The experience changed my life and opened my heart to a new form of love. I knew about God's love before this experience, but I did not realize the power to revolutionize the idea and practice of citizenship. Through the love of God and the service of God's people, my five new friends and I, all strangers in a foreign land, were transformed into citizens of the kingdom of God. Indeed, we are all strangers transformed into citizens through God's love. There is no one whom the love of God cannot transform into a citizen. Some things to think about from that reading. How do you think your local church and community can be welcoming to migrants, refugees, and asylum seekers? And do you recognize a moment in your life where the transformative love of God changed your way of thinking? Let us pray. We believe with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our strength in the God of the displaced and dispossessed, who listen to the cry of exiles, who sets the captives free, who guides the oppressed to freedom. We believe with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our strength in the strength 
of Jesus Christ, his beloved son, born a pilgrim like many of us, lived in exile, who walk with, walked with the excluded, the refugees and the migrants. We believe with all our hearts, with all our souls and all our strengths in the Holy Spirit, who shelters and encourages us with her tender breath, who transforms us into the people of God, who make us faith, a faithful community, a united family of citizens of the kingdom, daughters and sons of peace. Amen. Well, join us tomorrow there as we take one more step closer to that cross. Stay safe and God bless.